In the 1960s, electronics manufacturers vied for lucrative military contracts. A defense contractor that failed to deliver might never get another contract. So what should it do if a supplier threatened to stop delivery unless the contractor paid more for the same product? Austin Instrument v. Loral explored that question. In 1965, Loral Corporation won a $6 million contract with the Navy to manufacture and deliver radar sets. It awarded Austin Instrument a subcontract to supply 23 of the 40 components it needed. The next year, Loral received another contract from the Navy and again sought bids for the same 40 components. Austin informed Loral that it would cease delivery of the parts it was currently making unless Loral gave Austin the new contract for all 40 components and agreed to substantial price increases even on components it had already delivered. Austin then stopped delivery. Finding that no other manufacturer could deliver the parts it needed to meet its delivery schedule, Loral sent Austin a letter pointing out that it would suffer severe consequences if it defaulted on the Navy contract, which left it no choice but to accede to Austin's demands. Loral delivered the radars to the Navy on time. After its last delivery, Loral told Austin that it would seek recovery for the price increases. Austin sued Loral to collect the balance remaining on the second contract, and Loral sued Austin on the ground of economic duress. The trial court awarded Austin the sum it requested. It dismissed Loral's complaint on the grounds that Loral hadn't shown that it couldn't have gotten the components from some other source in time to meet its commitments. The appellate division affirmed. Loral appealed to the Court of Appeals of New York.